Hello Lakeland and welcome to ENN. I'm Seth and I'm here with Andrew and we're going to be the anchors for today. Good morning everyone and welcome to the show. Students, please remind your parents to start using the Killer Go COVID screening process. You or your primary guardian listed in Skyworld will receive an email directing you to the screening process. The screening needs to be completed whenever you are going to be in the building. You should receive a notification each morning reminding you to screen. Thank you to help keep the school safe. Don't miss our virtual college visit happening tomorrow, Wednesday the 24th. Kettering University will be with us at 10 a.m. to talk about the application process. Scholarships, programs, housing, and campus life, the link to the missing is located on the LHS website under the counseling tab in the Career Center section and can be found in the Career Center newsletter emailed to you directly each Friday. Hope to see you there. Students, have you ever considered taking a career in technical education course such as marketing, video production, BMT, web design, or AP computer science? Well, February is CTE, Career Technical Education Month. All this month, we will be featuring various CTE courses that you can take here at Lakeland next school year as electives. This week, we are focusing on the marketing classes. Let's see what they have to offer this year. Hi, I'm Melissa Yonker. I'm a senior here at Lakeland, and I took a handful of marketing classes during my high school career because I saw it as an opportunity to be creative and that I would actually use the material in the future, which I thought was important when picking my classes. I wanted to pick something that would actually be of importance to me. I learned a lot about how the business world works around me, and being a teenager, I don't really have that perspective, so the fact that I got to take this class and learn about different business tactics and things that would personally affect me, I thought was really interesting. I also was a part of DECA here at Lakelet, and I am so glad that I did it. It was another opportunity to be creative, just like my marketing classes, and I love having a sense of accomplishment when I would finish my projects at the end. It was super fun, the trips were awesome going new places, I got to meet new people, and I definitely recommend for other students to take marketing classes and join DECA as well. Did you know you can earn scholarships by taking a marketing class and participating in DECA? Not only can you earn scholarships, but you can travel and network with thousands of high school students from around the world and have fun while learning a thing or two. Make sure you have marketing of your schedule if you want to participate in DECA next school year. Congratulations to junior Evan Morse, who has been accepted into the J Juilliard Summer Percussion Seminar this year. The program is a two-week rigorous music program that is a very selective and requires an in-depth audition. Great job, Evan! Congratulations to all of our band students who participated in the MSBOA Solo and Ensemble Festival. This year, great job to all. The Lakeland Yearbook is available for pre-order online now. The current price is $80. The price goes up tomorrow at $85. Make sure to order today. Go to Lakeland High School website and find the link or go online to www.yearbookforever.com and search Lakeland High School. If you have any questions about the yearbook, contact Mr. Head. Thanks. Seniors, senior ad for this yearbook are due by February 27th to Mr. Head. If you or your parents are interested in Placing an ad, please have them contact Mr. Head, thanks. And now some information from the Counselor's Corner. Sophomores, applications for the 8th program, the Accelerated College Experience, are due April 16th. Contact a counselor if you have any questions about this program. Seniors, the deadline to apply for the free application for federal student aid, or the FAFSA, is March 1st. Whether or not you uh, intend to use the aid, it is important to have a backup plan. Over $2.9 billion in free college money goes claim, uh, unclaimed by students every year. Pell grants and scholarships do not have to be paid back. Low interest loans can lead students to afford college and not have to worry about paying it back until they complete their degree program. 
Scheduling for next school year is open now. If you're interested in taking application courses such as AP courses, leadership, or school store, make sure you get those applications in. They are due on February 26. Please check out the counseling website to see which classes require an application. Don't forget that the last day to register for your classes is March 3rd. Thanks. Seniors, local scholarship applica applications are now available online on the LHS counselor website. Check out all of the local scholarships to see which ones you qualify for. Students, don't forget that lunch and breakfast is still free for all Lakeland students. Make sure to take advantage of that offer for the rest of the school year. And now for sports. On fi Friday, February 12th, the Lakeland Lesserine team opened their season with a three-duel match, winning each one. They defeated Dearborn, Divine Child, Warren, and Livonia. On February 18th, the Lakeland team defeated Brighton by the score of 48-27 to to move on to 4-2 and on the season. Congratulations, wrestling team. In border cross action, the state border cross championship was held last week at Alpine Valley, where the LHS riders rocked it. The LHS girls SBX team took first place overall, winning the 2021 state championship. And the boys team took third place overall. Both the bo girls and boys team excelled the season and showed, a, showed true team spirit to pull off the accomplishment. Great job, Border Cross. In boys basketball action last week, the JV team lost a tough one to Wald Lake Western squad 39-36, and the freshman team held a late defeat with Western 29-25. In varsity action, our Eagles defeated Western by the score of 48-34. Caleb Zurich led the way with a 16 points. In girls basketball action, the varsity squad last week had a tough loss to a solid Birmingham Groves team. 50 to 28, the JV team pulled off a great win again against Groves by the score of 23 to 18. In hockey, it was another big night for Luke Weinberger as he managed his third hat trick for the season against Wald Lake Western, and our Eagles moved to fourth and O on our on the season with the win over the Warriors by the score of six to one. Don't forget to get all the latest and detailed information and updates about Lakeland Athletics. Please visit the Lakeland Athletics Facebook and Twitter page. Thanks. Now it's time for anchor shout outs. First up is me. I'd like to shout out my friend, Dominic Dreyer. Seth, now it's time for your shout outs. And I want to shout out my mom. Well, have a great weekend, everyone. Don't forget, we always post our episodes of ENN on the LHS website and on our ENN Instagram page at LHS underscore ENN. Give us a follow. Thanks for watching ENN this week. And from all of us at ENN, we hope that you have a safe week. Mask up, Lakeland, and go Eagles. <laughs>